It's almost 2020, and you'd think that in a lot of places, it's okay to be gay. But that's not true, especially in Asia. A lot of young gay people grow up in fear and silence with no laws or policies in place to protect them like everyone else. I'm gay, and I want to be seen, and I want to be included like anyone else. This is why what these guys are doing is so important. In a place where no laws exist to protect, they step up to create a safe place for the community. This is Proud, and this is MTV Generation Change. App will be a platform for people to connect through events, networks, uh, mentors. Ten, fifteen years ago, social interaction for the LGBTQ community was walking into a bar yeah. alone, yeah. not knowing yeah. who anyone is. What we are trying to do is we're trying to break that. We're trying to say, hey, you can come together in groups. If you come alone, we'll try and match you guys up in a group. Do something together that's more than just the very surface interaction. A lot of us, we don't even feel comfortable talking about issues with our close friends, with our families, with yeah. our colleagues. We're proud, right? We are trying to solve it by really providing this platform for people to really feel themselves and be comfortable. This is so hopeful because growing up, you know, we've been faced with just, you know, hookup apps, or just hookup apps, or just hookup apps. Uh -huh. You know what I mean? <laughs> and you don't get these kind of apps that would actually connect the people with purposes other than just hooking up. We basically almost knocked on every single door and said, hey, we are trying to do something for the community. It was tough, but we got over 100 backers supporting us in our crowdfunding campaign, which really led to us, you know, setting the footwork for what's happening today. When we decided to partner with Pink Dot, it sent a strong signal to the community that, you know, we want to bring these events to a wider crowd. Pink Dot is a um, one-day event where everyone actually just, you know, shows up in pink as a form of solidarity for the, for the community. Tell me more about the collaborations between Pink Dot and Proud. We are broadcast partners for Pink Dot, so for two years running already. Pink Dot has allowed us to be part of their community tent. So which means that we get to reach out to more of the community and not just the queer folks, but as well as the allies and those who can come into Pink Dot. And by having you know, the events that we do, it puts a face on the community. Because it's not just an event for, for the gay community, it's also for you know, people who are allies as well. And eventually they help us you know, take the fight elsewhere. You know, they share our stories with other people. Today, it's very difficult for a gay or lesbian or bisexual transgender person to find housing or landlords that accept them for who they are. If you are a gay couple or a lesbian couple, you cannot apply for public housing. And you can't apply as a single person until you hit the age of 35. In Singapore, the discrimination is very real. So being able to work with Proud to reach out to LGBTs, the minority groups, is something that we, we are very proud of and we really hope that going forward in the future, we are able to help them find their home eventually. I tried various platforms to try to get connected with the community and I feel that Proud is one that makes me feel very at home because they are very connected with the ground. The reason why they started the app is because they feel that there is a problem for themselves. So when the idea came about, it actually solved a very real problem to all of us. For me, it seems like one of the biggest challenges for you guys is changing mindsets. Mm. Outside the queer community, you have allies who want to be an ally but don't know how to be an yeah. ally. You have people that you know have preconceived notions about, about the community. So we come up with resources, guides, like we have guides to Pride events, we have hotlines that we make available and we work with partners all around Asia. I want to prove that we not only have events for our community but we, but we can be queer and we can be out in Singapore, why not? Like, why do you have this conception that we'll be arrested or we are illegal? Like, I don't think that we should be made to feel that way. It's tough to feel different. Like, you can never fit in. It's so damaging to esteem, confidence, and actually cause you to fear life. These guys are taking on the responsibility of representing their community and give everyone the space and resources to be heard and stay strong. I want to be a part of a world that values openness and information and allow equality to every single one of us. No one should ever be afraid to be who they are. 
I hope that nobody will have to experience queer loneliness like I did and they are able to find people who can accept them for who they are. And I hope to marry my girlfriend in Singapore and to have a future where our children will grow up knowing that everyone is accepted and we're all equals. And I hope that every LGBTQ plus kid that chooses to come out doesn't have to do it through Hookup App that they can find the community and resources that support them and accept them for exactly who they are. We are proud. And this is MTV Generation, Generation Change. Change.